Yo, yo, yo. All right, back in music, not coming through. Okay. Yo, yo, yo. All right, back in music, not coming through. Okay. Yo, yo, yo. All right, back in music, not coming through. Okay. Yo, yo, yo. All right, back in music, not coming through. Okay. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, view up. Hey, view up. All right, well, how should I go about this? So just bear with me, chat. I'm trying to figure this out. First live stream's always the best, isn't it? <laughs> I'm trying to get two streams going. Alright, so just just bear with us. Looks like my music's not gonna come through for for the YouTube stream, but I should have music on the Twitch. So that'll be interesting. I've just got to do the Twitch through my Streamlabs, so, yeah, bear with us. Do you want to be Polar or Grizzly? <laughs> Sorry, real bad joke I used to use when I was working in call centers. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble locating your file. Please bear with me. <laughs> I know, it's terrible. Okay. Now what's this going on here? because you're not plugged into anything. That would make sense. Hey, buddy. You're not plugged into anything. Oh, no. It is straight new.
we'll get it rolling soon, chat. Just, uh, as I said, just bear with us, eh? It's been a long time since I've had to get this all going, so, yeah. You see one you very good. All right. Ah, sweet. That's going to give us some audio for Twitch. Alright, Twitch, you should have music, right? Hello Twitch. 
Welcome to the stream, yo. It's your boy, Happy Bandit here. And yeah, we're getting set up for WWE 2K23. And I'm going to smash out some my GM mode. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Alright, now. Let me just check my settings. Bear with me, y'all. Just want to make sure it's all set up right, you know. Uh, why is this not coming through? Okay, it's just very, very quiet. But I can't hear myself properly. Why is my microphone not coming through, huh? I know why. Sound, sound, sound. Sound settings. <laughs> the phone. There we go. All right. All right. Ha. There we go. Well, I think I'm ready to get this underway. Okay, so let's do a new one. Okay, so let's do a new one. Now I've lost all my control. Alright, so Woods here gives right, us so a description of what to do with my GM mode, but because, well, Awesome Creed, but, sorry. But Xavier Woods in Wrestling World. And here's T Breezy. So, they've got their favourite brands, obviously. Um, but, what we're going to do is we're going to take them on. Prince Pretty here in my GM mode. Tyler Breeze works really, really well with SmackDown. Awesome Creed works really, really well with NXT 2.0. So, how about we take them on? Heads on battle. 1v1v1. And we will set 
As I said, save your woods. So he gets this cheat code card, you see. Select a superstar from an opposing brand's roster. They will permanently join your roster next week. Can't be a title holder. Can't be used in the first week. But you pair him up with something like NXT 2.0. Reduce the price of the next three. Three agents you purchase this week by 50%. Now, that's basically three superstars at 50% off and one for free. That's a pretty deadly combo, if you ask me. So, that's what Javier Hoods is going to be. Now, we'll put him straight in fucking... Oh, shit, that was me. Ha! Um, let's see, let's fix that up. I've got to mute that now. Because that was meant to be me. So we'll put me at the very end. I think I'm going to be the custom superstar. I don't know. Um, it is a pretty deadly card, actually. Yeah, bugger it. Look, I'm going to do it. First legend you sign this week will be free. So let's do that. Custom superstars used as a GM will not be available in custom draft pools used with this save slot. Yes, I want to continue. And... I'll be me, bugger it. I'll take me out of action, and... I mean, that sort of screws up the Wyatt family tag team I've got going with him. I could go straight for... Now, we made this character out of shits and giggles because my mate, uh, Dodgy Wombat, <laughs> stuffed up JD McDonough's name. <laughs> oh, you know that fella, JD McDougal? He's in Judgment Day. <laughs> number one, Dodgy. His name's JD McDonough, and number two, he ain't in Judgment Day yet. But anyway. Yeah, let's use G DJ McDougal. And I go for WCW. Alright. So, extend the durations of all your current Legends contracts by five weeks. So, that can double a contract length, or it can um, extend it by five weeks, because sometimes they're five-week contracts, sometimes they're ten-week contracts. So, yeah. Alright, so let's lock me in. CPU... Where is he? Xavier Woods, NXT 2.0, and T Breezy. Oh yeah, his card. Quick recovery. All your superstars immediately recover 20 stamina. So that's very, very handy, especially before you're about to put on a big pay-per-view. And obviously SmackDown for him. Uh, Birth of Legends. Six random superstars on your roster will have their popularity increased by 6%. Up, up, by plus six, not six percent. Ah, so let's lock it in. Alright, let's go. Yeah, lock it in, Eddie. Hard, hard. Lowest budget order, snake order, shake up on draft pool, custom. Select da pool and auto draft off. Yep, da pool, da pool, all good. All right. Now I reckon they should very easy, easy, normal, hard, very hard. I would love, and I would really like it if they had a marathon mode. Because at the moment, it's, um, nah, sorry, impassable, whatever your name is, I'm not interested, I'm just here to do my own thing, have some fun. So yeah, um, 
let's get rid of that. Let's go back to the YouTube on that one because I want to see everything going on there. There's no use trying to explain. Cool. All right. Let's lock it in, Eddie. But yeah, I'd really wish they had a longer season. Because at the moment, I think the it's... WWE draft has begun. Ah, Who shut up, Michael Cole. <laughs> that damn it, Michael Cole, get out of my head. <laughs> Each GM will start with a budget of 2750000 Gems will take turns drafting one after the other in a snake order. There will be nine rounds of drafting. After the ninth round, drafting becomes optional. And GMs can also press R3 to get recommendations. And Square to press more info uh, to get more information about the superstar. So there we go. Who will be the first pick for WCW? So Woods went straight for Becky Lynch. Well. So Square to get more information about a superstar. So this is all of the information we have currently. Star Power 4. Good pop, good stam. Promo skill 3 out of 5, which is good. Not great, great's 4, awesome's 5. And you don't know their match specialties yet. So you can have a look all across. So he's annoyed already. How are you so annoyed already? Well, look, I think, seeing as though I've got my first two choices coming up right now, that <laughs> that looks really good. I'll take them both. What do you reckon, chat? We'll go Roman Reigns. Because it's a snake order, I get this pick. WCW picks Roman Reigns and rivalry straight up there against Drew McIntyre. Let's do it. I forgot to put my stuff in order. It's either going back to back for their picks, except for. Except for SmackDown, they're stuck in the middle, so they just have to go one pick at a time. Whereas you can see round two and round three, Edge and Finn Balor. So, what I like doing is pressing triangle, find out who's got the best pop, and then you can go by men's and women's. So, we've got two really popular fellas. Oh, we're going to get, you know what, I'm going to start saving some money right now. Let's get Mommy and Liv. WCW selects Rhea Ripley. So there's a rivalry straight up. Face first heel, giant first cruiser. WCW drafts Liv Morgan. And... So, your faces and the heels, obviously, go well um, against each other. So, yeah. Um, bruises against fighters. Giants against cruisers. They will always have the best matches. Specialists can fit anywhere into that mix. So, yeah. If you've got your... If you've got your specialist, um, they're good for triple threats, fatal four ways. Um, they'll fit in there really well. Tag teams, they can still work well for as well. So, yeah, it's just a matter of what you've got available. Um, now, there's two belts for the girls, or for the women's. So you've got your women's belt and your women's tag team belt. The men have three. They've got your main belt. Your mid-card belt, like your US title or IC title, um, WCW, it's the hardcore title, and NXT, it's the North American title. So, 
Um, I might start looking for some... What are we going to do? We've got a Shantae and Brawn there. How is he so much cheaper than Brawn? Satisfied? They're both satisfied. Okay. I mean, I don't mind that. Let's do it. We'll take Ashante the Adonis and Braun Strowman. WCW drafts Ashanti Adonis. Ashante the Adonis is picked by the general manager. He's a five-star pick. Now, we'll see what happens with that on our next round, because I might want to turn that into the tag teams, so... Who is next on the SmackDown roster? WCW looking to add to their haul with this pick. That's just my fish filter. Medical fish filter. <laughs> Yo, chat. Howdy, Twitch chat. I've got two viewers there. Thanks for checking me out. Um, it's draft day. We're starting a new MyGM mode. Um, at the moment, we've got our main two. We've got Roman and Drew. Now we're building a tag team. So what have we got? We could get... We could get... A fighter and a bruiser. So, Ashante's got 60. We could get Happy Corbin. And then we need a fighter. Get Happy Corbin to go with Ashante. And then Randy to go with Braun. We got a bit of funds left still. I don't know, I think I've got to choose a cheaper fighter face. Our truth to go with Brawn. Let's do it. It's 192 though. Happy Corbin. Randy 214. Eh, 58, 54, and 53. Ah! Marshall, even better. Okay. So happy Corbin. You go with Ashante the Adonis. WCW picks happy Corbin. And I'm taking my creative character. See, there he is, JD McDonough. <laughs> and we'll go Marshall with our truth. So former cop turned wrestler, Marshall Hot Action Cop. WCW selects Marshall Hot Allen Cox. <laughs> yeah, Hot Allen Cox. It's a great name, though. I love it. I mean, of course, I love it. I made him. And you gotta wonder who's next for WCW. All right. So we've got our tag team sorted out. We've got our mains sorted out. We've got a little bit of money left over. We need a women's tag team now. So let's... Let's look at some cheapies. Oh, we got Queen Zelina and Raquel. Yeah. Raquel Shotzi. Save some money. Okay. Let's do it. Shotzi. WCW picks Shotzi. Shotzi bringing this roster. Raquel. A great opportunity to maximize this yeah. potential. There's no other giant faces at the moment. Yep, it is Raquel. WCW drafts Raquel Rodriguez. And then we'll want a heel bruiser, maybe, and a face fighter. Whichever way that works out. Now, if you can hear the music in the background, that is my favorite band. It's Body Jar. Hopefully I won't get in trouble for using their stuff. 
We'll see what happens with that. I haven't received any infringement notices yet, and they're, they're a reasonably small Australian, you know, well, out here they're pretty big. You know, they're Australia's probably biggest pop punk band. Then you got stuff like, well, yeah. Yeah, so what do we got here? We've got Valhalla and Nikita Lions. Let's go down here, so... Valhalla and Shotzi, Nikita and Raquel. And they're reasonably cheap and they'll keep me some money in the bank, so let's do it. Valhalla. Who else is further down the list? Ooh, Ivy Nile. You got more stam than Nikita and you're so much cheaper. Okay. Yeah, and we'll take JC Jane as well. WCW chooses Ivy Nile. The Pitbull Ivy Nile bringing the fight to a new brand. And that's our women's stuff for now. To make this <coughs> Speculation about the next member. So we've got our female main carders. The next member with Rhea and is Liv. about to be picked. Who's the next pick for team WCW? And tag team. So now we need to finish off. We got 642 left over. See, and this is with the lowest budget possible. I reckon I'm doing pretty freaking well. So, who's left? Men's mid card, that's right. I don't want to spend all that money. Let's look down the bottom. Yeah, let's look down the bottom here. Trick Williams versus Madcap Moss. Yeah. Yep. Madcap Moss, Mad Moss and Trick Williams. Love it. All the upside in the world, in my opinion. And, the GM and, and there's SmackDown done with their draft. Not a bad looking roster, actually. They got Uncle Howdy. See, so Dewdrop versus Lexi. That'll be their main. And what? Cody and Big E, probably. A make or break pick for NXT 2.0. NXT 2.0. You can't see Becky's face because of Woods' folder. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's hilarious. Alright. That's not a bad roster either. But, so, what do we look at? Becky and Bianca. Edge and Bala. Got Rick Boogs and Giovanni Vinci. Got the same stance going. And then you got Meacham and KO up the Amazing back there. For the WCW general manager. Now, I think we're done. Eight and six, like we could get some more girls as backup, but I think we'll do that in. Yeah, let's let's lock it in. The big boys and girls on the WCW roster. Yeah, run by one of your own wrestlers. Awesome, awesome. That's a decent looking roster. Roman and Drew, Mummy and Liv. And our tag team's up the back. Look at all this talent. But in the yep. end, only one brand will win. So we did pretty well on popularity, having a look at it. They got 62, 60, 60, 60, 58. 60s, 59s. I got the 265s. But then I went lower with my others, so... Hey, that's still cool. Chandler's still cool, you'll pay later. Alright, so... To enter the WWE Hall of Fame and prove you are the best, be the first GM to earn 10 Hall of Fame trophies. 
Trophies can be awarded through either career achievements or seasonal challenges. Entering the Hall of Fame will allow you to continue playing or retire your save file altogether. How's that hunter signature there? Yeah. You know, best good luck. Alright. Week one. Whew. I know, I'm a little skeptical to start with. DJ McDougal. <laughs> yeah, alright, Woodsy. We'll see about that. Mr. Creed, Javier Woods. I feel like that's going to be taking up a bit too much. Let me, ah! <laughs> Don't mind me, folks. There we go. Shrink that off a bit. Alright, so, DJ, how's it going? Just wanted to wish you luck for the coming season. We're looking forward to it at SmackDown. Obviously, with the likes of Cody Rhodes in our book, we think we're going to give WCW more than a run for its money. I guess we're going to find out. Alright, time to select champions. Now, two ways you can go. Give it on the do with most pop. Puts him up by 10. Or... I suppose it doesn't matter either way. Because, you know, um, they're both 65. But I'm going to put it on Drew because he's unhappy. I want to see if that makes him happy. Now. Uh, yeah, we'll put it on Liv because Rhea's got more pop. Yeah, and that'll even them out a bit. Yeah, two faces to start with. Sounds good. All right. Now, chat, I do want um, suggestions and opinions for stuff. So, if you're watching, you can give me shout-outs in the chat for match types and um, who to recruit, legends you want to see on my roster. Just shout it out to me. Okay, so, let's lock that in. Don't book your most popular bruiser this week for a free arena booking. Well, that's not worth much at the moment, H. Because arenas are worth nothing. We'll unlock them by week five. Uh, the power cards, yeah, won't be doing much with them at the moment. Alright, so let's just book our freaking show. Where's the women's? You, Rhea, title on. Now, they've got a bit of stamina. We don't want to kill them too quickly. So, I think we'll give them... Yeah. I don't know, extreme rules. Medium, medium. Medium, low. But grants us more fans. Low, low, morale to winner. The loss of morale to the loser. It's very high medium, plus two to pop. It's reasonably cheap. Yeah, let's lock that one in. Give them some extra pop, and then maybe the week off next week. Um, we want our men's main. And they're quite popular. Let's chuck them into a tables match. And then what's left over? What we're going to do? Madcap versus Trick. That might be a call out there. We'll do our tag teams. So... Happy Corbin and Ashante the Adonis versus Marshall and Braun for the tag title. And actually, what am I doing? I don't need to lock in. Now, if you see, you'll get extra stuff 
but you need to book in certain things. So like with the road crew, book one special match type. Now we don't even have that yet. That's week five. So 15, 10, five, and two, three, and five. So I mean, really I could, I could play it safe. and not run many gimmick matches. Giant, Bruise, I actually like that team, Raquel and Ivy. JC and Shotzi's not bad either. Shotzi, JC, tag title on. Call out. Now you see, we've only got two superstars left with three promo spots to fill. And them two don't have the best promo rating. Wonderful. We got some money though. Now, I have a strategy I'm going to use. I'm going to more than likely save this card and bank it up for season two. So I'm not going to extend my, um, my Legends contracts in season one. Yeah, you can only use one of those cards a week as well. I could get a legend. I could get a legend to throw in and make that a triple threat. Or... Well, let's have a look first. Let's see who's available. Jesus, everyone's available. That's who. Alright. Ah. Uh -huh. <sighs> What we'd want to do if we're buying, we'd get Zeus for free and then go buy Eddie and make that a fatal four way. Well, face Eddie, not heal Eddie. Because, um, yeah, there's no giants that are faces. Ooh. Or we could get Eve, it strengthened the women's division, get Eve Torres and Beth Phoenix. Ooh. I might be doing that actually. We'll make this one the Iron Man. Lock it in. We're going to turn this one into a Fatal Four Ways table match. Yeah, let's do a power cards. Boom. Let's sign Evie Torres. Ten weeks for free. Fuck yes. Let's sign uh, Female Bruiser Face. Female Bruiser Face. Female Bruiser. See, there's none good. So it is going to be her. Uh, Bethogen Phoenix, welcome to the brand. Let's go make that happen. Triple threat, fatal four way. And hopefully we'll have rivalries kick off all across the board there. And, you know, that bumps up the pop of that match because 62s and 159. You guys got a bit of stamina as well. You can afford it. Yeah, they're all 60s and 70s. So I like that. I like that. Now, we're still in the same predicament we were before. We've got... These two. Someone else I know it's true so far away. Yeah, all right, bugger it. Let's get rid of that. Madcap, Trick Willy in a match for the hardcore title. Yeah, lock that in. That'll get switched around because they're more popular, just. Okay, now we've got four people for the promos with threes across. All right. So... You're going to call out Brawn. Mm, 
Marshall's going to call out Happy Corbin. It's funny because Marshall's my creator character, but Happy's my game attack. <laughs> but I'm the Happy Bennett. And I was happy before he was happy. I was happy when he was sad Corbin. Broke Corbin. Which was one of the best gimmicks, by the way. <laughs> Ooh. Give Braun a self promo, and we'll put that before the call out to see if the call out sticks better. It's something I reckon always works better. You put the self promo first, and then you put the call out second. And that way, if the self promo was crap, the call out's going to be awesome because he's going to be paying him out something chronic for having a shit fucking promo. <laughs> All right. And I think we're good for week one. Yeah, I know we're not going to get that. There's nothing there. We're spending $28,000 on the show. So this is where we might look at some of these. That's a good one to have. 29000 left. We're going to need money in the bank as well to pay for these when they become available. It's only five, but there's five, ten, and twenty in the first five weeks. Plus him, which is worth fifty. So yeah, let's uh let's lock this in. Now to YouTube chat. We've got three viewers over there. Thanks for watching. Checking out the stream. And yeah. This is the first show. You've just missed the draft. So we've just done the draft. We've just bought a couple of legends. And we're booking our first show. So let's get this on. Um, we'll watch the Iron Man match, okay? What I'll do for my weekly shows, I'll choose one match to watch out of it. Just so we're not sitting here watching all of them. If there's, you know, if chat wants a particular match, let me know in the chat which match you want to watch and I'll definitely keep that in mind and um yeah freaking for the main cards for the uh sorry for the PLEs for the premium live events every five weeks we might watch two or more we might watch all of them there's five matches though so we'll see what happens but for now let's just uh lock this in and watch the Iron Man match Alright, so now we get to see what they're doing with their show. They've got a triple threat happening. See, normal, 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 normal. They didn't put any gimmicks on because they didn't have to. So we'll just simulate their shows. Normal, 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 normal. No gimmick matches. Saving their stamina. So that's good news for our show. And they've got their three belts on the line. Tables, normal, normal, Iron Man. Here we go. Alright, so this one we're simulating. We'll watch the Iron Man, hey? And have I got my boys in here watching? No? Oh, we've got overlay options. Display chat, display activity, position bottom right. Yes, please. Awesome. Sweet. So, yeah, chat. It'll pop up in the bottom right for me. That's awesome. Um, yep, so simulate this one. New recruit, Eve Torres, wins. Three and a half star. Beth Phoenix, Eve Torres, with a rivalry. There's a new rivalry. Sweet. That's what I was hoping for. Okay. That's an OK promo. His pop went up by two. So that's wicked. That's wicked. A lot of the times with the promo skill of three, you don't know which way it's going to go. He could have lost... He could have lost two popularity, for all I know. Yeah. So let's uh, keep it a going. 
We'll simulate this one. Who do you reckon's going to win? Madcap Moss or Trick Willy? Probably Madcap. Nah, Trick Star. Two stars, that's because they're so low pop. And there was no gimmick on it. But that's good for the drama curve. Excellent new rivalry. As I said, promo skill three. I just... Something about the self-promo first and then the call-out afterwards always seems to work. Now, I do want to watch one of their matches at some point, but we'll wait until they're a main, um, main eventer. Cool. Two stars, no rivalry. That's all right, it's a mid-card match. No rivalry, see? No promo first. Same promo skill. They didn't know who the person was. They didn't know what was going on. But that's alright. That's alright. They'll get... They're in a tag team anyway. Look at us in the fucking little... High school hall. <laughs> fuck is this shit? I'm a main eventer, I shouldn't be walking out of a freaking curtain. <laughs> but, it is cool to see your beginnings, where you started. Ugh, and there it comes, the Scottish warrior himself. God, that was terrible, Scott. <laughs> Sorry. We can't afford pyros, but he can afford a sword. <laughs> oh man, he can afford pyros. They, they ain't my pyros. They ain't my pyros. Stand back. Jesus Christ. I don't have insurance for that. <laughs> Jesus, Drew. Now you got it. Oh, well, yeah, we got it barricaded off. Jeez, we're lucky. You've got to warn us about that kind of thing, Drew. Just goes and sets up his own pyro. Jesus. Boys, let's get it on. Yep, there's the belt. Yep, look at it. Yep, good, good. The winged eagle. Oh, cool. Well, not quite the winged eagle. That was a WWF belt. But it looks like a winged eagle. Here we go. Now, we've seen this match a few times on normal tally. Oh. 
Just so I should cancel out of the net break out. bit less choppy for Twitch now. viewers there thanks for checking me out this is week one and we're watching the Iron Man match for the WCW championship And yeah, for those who are tuning into my Twitch chat, I'm doing a prize giveaway at 50 followers. And I think I'm sitting at 43. So, I'm, I'm still going to follow through with that. The crowd seems to be enjoying the start. Our first main event. I had you there. Hey, plays. Thanks for checking me out. We're playing my GM mode here on WWE 2K23, as you can see. Now, when we get to book a next uh, show, feel free to type in suggestions. Yeah, bro, I see your comments. Drew's finally getting her back to him. Go get him, Drew. <laughs> Go get that tribal queef. <laughs> right so yeah, if you check me out on Twitch, um, I'm doing a dual stream. I'm on there as well. Um, I'm doing a prize giveaway at 50 followers, currently at 43, so, yeah. Um, happy for you to stay here on my fucking YouTube, though. Uh, pardon the language, this is a MA15 Plus stream. You know, I'm a mature age fella. Ooh, the 
kick out. Are you a streamer as well there, players? Suri Vanshi? Is that how you pronounce it? Suri Vanshi? hasn't been a pinfall yet. the fight. It's like a lay down claim wall kick almost. Oh Roman with the Samoan drop, the family move. We've been doing that to the Usos off the couch since he was a kid. <laughs> now Drew hit him with the claim wall and Roman kicks out. Did a good match to start with. Can always count on Drew and Roman. There it is, the first pinfall. Nice. Good start to the game. I had it. You are? Come join me in chat. You can see all your comments. So don't be afraid to post up. Let me know what you want to see from uh, my GM mode. Once you can see my um, my roster, you see what I'm putting together. Give me ideas for matches and stuff you want to see. We're very early in the piece though. Um, I don't have to put on that many gimmick matches. Out of four matches, I put on two gimmick matches. So yeah, just just let me know what you want to see. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.
Big knee to the face. The Superman punch in the corner into the spear. And that's got to be a second pinfall. Yeah. Gets overrated, you just need some rest. You make it my problem when you're so depressed and you say It's all about you and your pain I'm so sick of hearing about your tortured life What are you hiding inside? So yeah, Twitch, you can hear my music, YouTube, you can't. Sorry about that. You called up and woke me, now I'm pissed off. I've given you everything, it's not enough. You can your problems, that's what it's about. Just look me up when you sort yourself out and you'd say, It's all about you and your pain. I'm so sick of hearing about your torture life. What are you hiding inside? Is he gonna stay in? Is he gonna break it? Oh, he broke it. He should have just stayed in. I don't understand why they do that. Oh. Get him back in the ring if you want to win this. What are you hiding inside? Background tunes brought to you by Body Jar. Godfather's an Australian pop punk. Yeah, put the belt on Drew to start with and Roman takes it. That'd be about right. Frickin' bloodline, greedy bastard. <laughs> Crowd are enjoying it, that's all that matters. Drew, you're back in the ring. Good work. <laughs> oh, he actually... Wow, okay. Come on, you've got 52 seconds. You've got... Yeah. Come on. you got to hit him. Come on. Is 30 seconds going to be enough for two pinfalls? No, not like that, it ain't. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Roman Reigns will be our new WCW champion. So they put faces in charge and they let heels take it. Oh well. You get one pin for Congratulations. You got no pinfalls. Here is your winner and new WCW World Heavyweight Champion. You got no pinfalls. Roman Reigns. Roman kicked out of that last one. That's that's some guts. Could have let him have it. Could have let him have that pinfall. He was up by two, but he's like, no, sir.
And there's a new rivalry. That's a pretty good card. Three and a half star opener. Four star closer. Two two star middles. And we get some rivalries. And as you can see... I mean... Apart from them beating me by one star on that second mid-card match. I beat them by one star on the main event. And half a star for the opener. So, I'm going to claim a victory for this week. <laughs> yeah, okay. NXT, how'd you boys do you? 30, almost 40,000 fans and almost 60,000 profit. It's not a bad week. How'd SmackDown go? 43,500 and so they did better than NXT 2.0. Well, it's, it's NXT. It's the only NXT running, so we'll call it NXT. 47,500 fans and 36,000 so I didn't make as much cash as them because I put on the gimmick matches and we got some promos that cost monies but that's a pretty good show Raquel and Ivy Nile, incredible tag team good call doing that now yeah, so you want to keep your eye out for them yellow stickers I mean it'll always tell you um in your journal, I'm pretty sure. There we go, top of the pops already. And double their budget. See, as I said, that um, Legend Whisperer card to give you a free legend to start with, very, very handy. Free tables, oh, I gotta have a tables match this week, not a free one. Let's buy that for 5 thou. get some more peeps in. That's all we can do, yeah, so... 3 and then 5. So week 5 we go to the crew. Oh, yes please. What do we want from here? Yeah, we'll take the Iron Man match. We'll book the show first. Alright, so, no one asked for any rematches, and we've got to have a tag team match for our fellas this week. They've still got decent stam, so let's get them on again in that tables match, main event. Now you got you there. You and Marshall, Shante, and they got all the stamina in the world, so we'll do a tornado tag, give them plus one a pop, I mean is that, that might not be our opener, we'll, we'll see. We'll see about that. It might have to be the girls, actually. Put that one to there. Black Tide. Oh, did I forget to put... No, I forgot to put the freaking belts on the line. I forgot to put the women's tag belts on the line. Huh. So you got more stamina, you can call him out. You know what? You know what? No. Single match. Iron Man. Women's. You take the main event. 
coal out. You calling out, mommy? And you know what I like to do, self promo first. Let's see if that takes off, huh? What do you reckon, chat? I mean, really, you guys don't need a gimmick match. You got a rivalry. Let's save your stam. And give it to the ladies. A lot of the ladies have some gimmicks, yes. They got better stamina for it, too. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Can't believe I didn't put the tag titles on for the ladies in that first match. Alright. Well, we got a card. That, that, should, that should go off. Three and a half, maybe four... Two and a half, maybe three, three, and five, because I'm going to play this. And we'll, we'll take that card. So, GM Assistant says we'll get a Coast to Coast card, which will give plus two to uh, GM Interference. So how you do GM interference down here, you can do a run-in, then GM interference, and then you choose who you want to interfere for. Now, if you do a run-in, that's a run-in on the person, but the GM interference, you're backing them up. Capiche? Okay. Because I've seen a lot of people play this my GM mode and struggle understanding that so yeah I just thought I'd give you the heads up straight up here on Happy Bandit's channel Happy Bandit Gaming y'all just when all hope was leaving yep one tables match see your journal it'll tell you everything you need to know so it's always good to come back here and look to see who you've made promises to. Because superstars will ask you for stuff. They'll ask for matches. They'll ask to win matches. Yeah. Alright. Now, am I sure about this tornado tag? That's 35k. That's 35k. I mean, I'm trying to make money. And that's a big cost. What else could I do that's cheaper? I mean, it won't... Eh. Yeah, fuck it. Go Extreme Rules. I'm going Extreme Rules. Save 15k and get the same boost from the show quality. They won't get the plus one to pop, but that's okay. They're, they're going up slowly. And considering that what, they were 40s to start with? Yeah. And what I think we might need to look at when we get these two going, we need to buy um, a cruiser and a giant legend to put in with them and bounce between them two to up the quality, up the popularity of their matches. What do you reckon, chat? All right, now... We'll watch the main event again. Another Iron Man match. Yeah, there's not much more we can do. Lock it in, Eddie. Yeah, simulate all of them. There you go, Iron Man and Tables. They're starting to get the idea. Alright. Come on, Drew. There you go, get your belt back. Amazing. See, I was hoping for three and a half. We got four. That's great. That's fucking great. Weak promo. See, that happens sometimes. You're almost better off 
doing um, advertising or charity if they've only got promo skill 2. But it's also because they're not very popular. People don't care. Alright, for the belts this time. Cool. Then we get a rivalry, three stars. I was hoping for two and a half. We'll take, we'll take. Awesome. Up by two. Now hopefully the call out will stick. I don't mind which way this goes. I mean, I'd love for it to go to Braun and Marshall, but we'll see what happens. That, good. Happy and Ashanti. Three and a half, what I wanted from that. Perfect. And the promo sticks. See, look at that promo still too. But the promo was good. And they've got a rivalry out of it. So yeah, definitely self-promo before call-out beeps. Definitely self-promo before call-out. All my happy bandits out there. Look at a disco ball. <laughs> they stepped up to the reverb room. Edge's wife, Beth Phoenix. Because the glamour's on herself. She was the start of the muscular women in WWE. Look at her. I mean, I suppose, like, her Jacqueline, that was another one. Um, I think Jacqueline was in before Beth Phoenix was. Yeah. But still, very fucking, you know, strong ladies. Very good wrestlers, too. Not many people liked Eve Torres. A lot of people thought that she was a botch monkey. Um... Yeah, just, she didn't do as well as a lot of people thought. Very athletic, though. I suppose she could have been, like, she would have had the ability and the, um, maybe a bit better talent. She could have been the Charlotte Flair. She, should, she could have got that kind of push. She's got that kind of athleticism. Or had that kind of athleticism. For your WCW Women's Championship. The following contest is an Iron Woman match. And it's for the Good honor for saying Iron Woman match, too. Women's Championship. Introducing the challenger from Buffalo, New York, the Glamazon Beth Oh yeah, chat, if you notice down the bottom, well, our uh, Twitch will, YouTube unfortunately, you don't have the overlays I have for my Twitch, but yeah, Twitch, and YouTube, you can just type it in, www.drivechangemc.org.au. Now, especially if you're in Australia, please go have a look, um, support this campaign. I'm sure there's people that you know in your life, whether it's family or friends, that are going through or involved in what's happening. And we would love your support, even if it's just uh, supporting the, um, the campaign and petition. You don't have to donate, just support the petition. That's all I'm asking. It would be greatly helped and greatly appreciated by the whole Drive Change MC community. It's essentially about the um, the drug driving rules in relation to medicinal cannabis patients. 
Now, I'm not um, being paid to promote this. This is just purely uh, a self-promoted thing. I don't expect any money coming from it from them or from you. All I ask is support the petition and talk about it. Talk about it with your local um, politician, your local MP, friends and family. Get the subject out there that um, medicinal cannabis patients are being treated unfairly by police and targeted even if they haven't, you know, medicated in over 12 hours they can still get tested and test positive even if they're not impaired they could have slept for like fucking 12 hours drive out the next day to go run some errands get pulled over and test positive and it's not fair yeah but yeah that was just a little plug for the drive change MC petition it, it's of course it's close to my heart you know um, I'm a herbalist myself not cannabis I dealt in the um, legal herbs. I mean, cannabis is a legal herb now for medical patients. You've got to have your card and stuff and go through the right channels. But it's a, it's become a legal medicine now. It's just not being recognized so much by the law enforcement and the laws needed to change when they introduced it as a uh, legal medicine. But, when people can drive out there on opioids and crap like that high off their head but yeah it, it's it's weird it's a real real weird sticky situation Nasty backbreaker. We've had no pinfalls yet. We're getting close to the four minute mark. So that's what I mean, moves like that. Like E Torres could have been as as big as Charlotte Flair is. She had the potential, she just, yeah, lacked a bit of the ability, the natural wrestling ability that Charlotte Flair possesses. I mean, for God's sake, she's a Flair. She watched her dad do it for so long and, and lived out of brother's dream to realise that she was the one who should have been doing it the whole time. I mean, she doesn't like to admit it, but she's better than her brother ever was. She'll never admit it, though, because she loved him and thought he was the greatest wrestler, like, better than Rick. Can't remember his name. Is it Nick Flair? The greatest move of all time. Arm drag. <laughs> That's got to do a fucking fall. That glam slam.
And the power bomb just for good measure. And then an ankle kick. Arm drag. Of the twerk. Hashtag twerk in the chat. <laughs> So something I would love 2K to do, give us more options for matches. Mix tag, please. That'd be great. I mean, we can play these matches outside of my GM mode. Why can't we have them in my GM mode? Um, for the extended, like, marathon 52 week, because this is a 25 week uh, season. Love a 52 week season. I want to do every show. I want to do every pay-per-view. So I'm talking Survivor Series. I want War Games. Elimination Chamber. Money in the Bank. You know? Don't just have Money in the Bank one in a TLC match on the weekly show. Ooh. Well, I suppose that's where I can make... I'll just make a weekly show of pay-per-view. Once I can get the big enough arenas, we'll just run it like that then. Look, chat, you just you just helped me have a bit of a revelation there. Because they give us hell in a cell, backlash, extreme rules, survivor series and WrestleMania. I mean, I know I won't be able to run my own Royal Rumble. Oh, there's the quick! I know I won't be able to run my own Royal Rumble. And I won't be able to have Elimination Chamber matches, but... <sighs> C2K, this is what I want. You're, you're limiting me as a GM. You've got so many more ideas that I could be doing. You got to give me the chances to care. Fuck, I'd love to be running my own wrestling promotion in real life. Ooh, Eve levels it up with six and a half to go, just under. But yeah. God. If I have the finances, if I can buy the facility and get it going. I would love to run my own wrestling promotion. Even a wrestling school. I mean, I'm disabled. I can't do what these people can do. But I've been in the know for the uh, 20 odd years, 30 odd years. But now I'm 40. Yeah, so it's, I'd say 30 years having wrestling knowledge. Growing wrestling knowledge. Oh, she's running the ropes. <laughs> Not intentionally. Oh, the torture rack. Yeah, 2K hold back on us quite a lot in a lot of games. I mean, look at golf. So plain, so basic. Oh, Torres, second pinfall on the 420 mark. Can Beth turn this around? 
She's got to get two pinfalls to win the title, otherwise Eve will retain. That's what she needed to do with three and a half minutes to go. She can now focus to get that second pinfall with about a minute left on the clock. Unless she's going to get it right here after this fucking delayed vertical suplex. Of course. No, she's, she's going for the chair. difficult for Beth. What's Beth got? Two minutes and 15 seconds. Yeah. Ooh. I think Eve's going to retain this, folks. Beth says, not that easily, though. I'm going to make it hard for you. it up. You got a minute twenty. Keep on her. Just pinfall straight after the power drop. Just pinfall. What are you doing? What are you doing? Beth doesn't fly. Flying clothesline. Double axe handle. Pinfall. Yes. Holy shit, with 45 to go. And she's not done yet. Thirty seconds. Into the fucking the camel clutch. She gonna tap? She gonna tap? No, but she breaks it. How did you? But she didn't do it quick enough. Best Phoenix to win the women's WCW Championship. So that probably would have got four stars, maybe four and a half, without the card. But we played that card, and we got the legendary. I feel better somehow, I'm not sure I will. And the rivalry grows. 
They smashed them in the ratings. Look at that. My mid card was as good as their opener and main event. Alright, good to know these boys. Let's have a look. Yeah, performance, not bad. Title match, yes. Good tag chemistry. Popularity, only three. Rolls, five. Yeah, see? We're getting those rolls right. Yeah. Good performance in a normal match. They've still got a little bit of stem left, so we'll probably have a call-out happen for them next week. Yeah, we'll get Roman to do it. <coughs> yeah, sweet. And the ladies, 7081, beautiful. Can't see the triangles on them. All right. Forty-eight and forty-eight and a half. <coughs> Forty and forty-three. Sixty. And twenty-five. Okay, so much for... Well, isn't that lucky we got an extra fifteen by not having that extra... Um, that tornado tag and dropping it to extreme rules. Otherwise we only would have made ten K. Happy Corbin for Extreme Rules and Adonis and Corbin are a great tag team or incredible tag team even better no one could accuse WCW of repetitive matches they mix it up a lot yes alright so jeez so what's that? 21,000? 20, yeah. Just under 21,000 in front. But as I said, that budget is dropping quickly. Okay. So Eve needs a week off. Well, not necessarily. It's just risk of injury. But yeah. So they get 12 for not participating, and 6 if they... Oh, if they do a promo. You want a rematch in two weeks? Alright. Because you're having a call out this week. And you want another shot. Yep, easy. So see, these are two promises I've made. They will pop up in the journal. Yep. Cool. All right. How did you want to help me put on a show? So, book your least a popular match for a yeah, star for a match this week. Easy. Let's unlock the Capital Wrestling Center. I think I'm going to have to wait on the power cards. Call out. Roman on Drew. Call out. Oh jeez, Beth's even worse. I might have to buy that health bar from Beth. Let's see what we can put on first, eh? And she'll get 12. Yeah, that'll only get her... She'll need to have two weeks off. So we'll have two call-outs from Eve. So... Rhea and Liv. Where are they? There they are. You and Ashante for the men's title. For the hardcore title. And then tag matches.
type of smash. Now, I'm selecting people first, because I think they're the ones that start in the ring. So we'll see how this goes. Extreme rules, it doesn't matter. There's, um, I don't think there's tags. Same for the tables match. Well, I don't have to run them, but you now who's left over? Do me an advertising, Drew. Yeah. All right. So, you know my rule: always do the advertising, the um, self promo first. Or do, it th or do it this way. Go bang, bang, switch them around. Have her call out Beth to start the show. Advertising in the middle and that last. Alrighty. It's got lots of stam. Yeah, that's fine. You guys got lots of stam too. I did want to buy a giant a cruiser. Let's see who's available. You're a specialist. Hmm. Oh, hello. I mean, I know they're not going to put the pop up. They got lots of stam. We could make that a false count anywhere. Yeah, alright. Because that's not too much. That's you for 18. And that's a permanent. Kombuch. And maybe we should look for a legend. Ooh, 100k. Jesus. Ooh, Kane. Kane. Kane for five weeks. He's got all the stam in the world too. Hells, yes. Not yet. Not yet. Now, Kane's just above them two. I know Kombuch is low, but he'll go up rather quickly. You watch him. From that 20, you watch him. Am I locking that in? Level one rivalry, no rivalry. Now, oh, bugger it, you know what? I want you guys in something big. That's so expensive. 45k. High and high. Very high and max for 35. 30. High and high. Ah. Perils of being a GM. That'll get their pop up nicely. Yeah, we get some money from the advertising promo. Hopefully, get 15k, maybe. I'll say 10 to 12. Just putting a guess on it. <sighs> nah. Let's go TLC. Yeah, okay. It'll 
be a level 3, that'll be a level 3, hopefully a level 4 for the pay-per-view, now you guys got to fight next week, <sighs> and we'll watch, yeah, switch it. Exclusive rematch, so that can be done whenever. There's no time limit. That's got to be done in two weeks. Alright. Double cost. Nice. Alright. Locked in, Eddie. Skipping all of their crap, as we do. Simulate. Just a normal tag for you two. Or you four. I mean, we're trying to give JC Jane a shot with Shotzi, but uh, uh, we're trying to give JC Jane a Shotzi. Okay, see, look at that. Promo skill five. Okay, no boost in the rivalry. Oh well, lucky we're doing it again next week. Haha. <laughs> Simulate. One, two, it's over. Bring it. Two and a half. Okay. Rivalry grows. Good shit. Hey, 16. Cool. Good work, Drew. As much as I want to watch this, we will just simulate. Actually, you know, I'd bugger it. We'll watch two this week, because these both will be good. We'll watch two this week, folks. It's just me anyway for the moment, so... We're getting Kansas City. comes next. The big red monster. The big red machine is here. This is a we don't pay for pyro. We don't have pyros yet. And introducing the challenger from the pits of hell. Glenn Jacobs. the roster. And introducing the challenger from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 135 pounds. I mean, Kombucha's got to be a little bit worried here. It's his first match. Not only does he have Madcap Moss and Trick Williams, actual WWE superstars, but he's got the legend Kane in a Fatal 4-Way Falls Count anywhere. Those pink pants will be all brown soon. He looks good with that hardcore championship. Let's see if he holds on to it. <laughs> Weighing in at 205 pounds, he is 
the WCW Hardcore Champion, Trick Williams. Well, let's get this underway. We've got two matches this week. We will be watching two matches this week. Yes, yes. Basically in the NXT arena. Nice intimate little arena. <laughs> Trick's taking it straight to the legend. Mad Cow. <laughs> trying to take advantage of the new guy. Jeez. Taking the trick. Madcap's still all over Kombucha. Poor Booch. Show us what you can do. I didn't pick you up for nothing, boy. There you go. Come on, show us your chops. and gets taken by Madcap. Jeez, Kombucha's still in this. You look at Trick. I mean, Madcap's not looking too great either. Kane's a little damaged.
Oh, look at this, Booch. Told you, Booch could do this. Look at that. That'll help his popularity massively. He should be up around the 4850s. I bet you know his name now. I bet you know my name now, he says. <laughs> Go, Booch. I will be checking out, yeah, Kombucha Kane, you are very beautiful. I didn't think that was going to pop that much, no four, four star match. It's the Wii promo, but it still grows because of the advertising before. That's what I reckon. Alright. Alright. Dude, I, I still can't get over Kombucha winning that. I said he could do it, chat. He was still in that. They are ready for battle. And here's your first look. And I totally forgot that I had them in the Wyatt family. I made a stable. The following contest is a tag team tables, ladders, and chairs match. And is for the WCW World Tag Team Championship. I did make an alternate outfit for Brawler. At a combined weight of 615 pounds, Marshall, Hot, Allen, Cox, and Braun Strowman, the tribe. Opportunity for the champ to prove to everyone that there truly is none better in all of WWE right now. That's a pretty cool entrance. That that that's a pretty cool entrance. These two don't have a joint entrance, though. They'll come out one by one. see about that how long that sticks around for
Alright, who knows which way this is going to go. Up there, he's got two. There's the third. There's the fourth. They got it. That was quick. There's a new rivalry. That's what we wanted. Good. Alright, so. Yeah, Jesus. That should have been my opener. 34. Okay, not as much as I thought he'd get. I thought he'd get more than that. 38%. So, JC needs a week off. Them are still fine, sweet, all right. 40,067 cash, okay. 4672. 5361. Cool. So I'm making more money. And I got more fans than they did. And Marshall. Hot action cop, he's a, such a natural in TLC, good. It's good when you find them by accident. And we are now officially 31,000 fans up. Oh, he's stealing. There it is. He took Roman off me. God damn it. Oh. Alright, so we end that rivalry this week. You want to tag match with Eve Torres? Okay. And Drew just said he's psyched for the PLE that he wants to be in. Yeah, let's see how your team works out. Fuck, it stole Roman off me. Yeah, well, you're getting it this week. Don't you worry about that. It's you, you. In a submission match for that title. Fucking. Uh, that bastard. Oh, alright. It is what it is. Alright, so. Oh, yeah, we might need that card. Rest your male tag champs this week. You versus Booch, no. What can we do? We need the women's tag. Dude, Mad Cat vs. Trick. Women's Tag. Sorry, Jace. <laughs> uh, who's left over? Oh, thank God we got you two. Alright. So we got a match. We got a card. Well, let's just hope Drew freaking wins. Yep. 
right there old. next week uh, we could use that on kombucha so you can't use that on a PLE would stole that superstar off me but I've got to keep I've got to keep Tyler Breeze in check because he's pretty much... See, it's not money we're worried about. They're pretty much on par when it came to fans, though. Yeah, screw it. You hit me, I'm going to hit you back. Double the cost for your PLE, boy. Yes. Rough. Alright, now we're going to do GM Interference this week uh, for JC Jane, so they win that freaking belt. Can I do two? Nah, only on normal matches, yeah. Alright, so let's play that Coast to Coast card, see? The GM Interference Book Show will provide an additional plus two bonus and be free to book this week. I know it's only 2,000, but it's that plus two bonus. And we want to put the tag belts. Oh, howdy. Yeah. They're all old comments, aren't they? Yeah. I saw them already. Oh. It's all good. Howdy gamer to you two. <laughs> anyway. Um, you guys just... It's just not taking for some reason. But hopefully it will. You guys have taken. So that's great. Alright, so call outs. Got Eve calling out you again. Start of the show. Who's doing my advertising? So charity is going to get you fans. Um... Everyone's threes, wow. So we'll go... Yeah. And call out Kane, calling out Booch. Good old Booch. <laughs> we need to save as much money as we can to replace Roman next week with the Bruiser Heel. Probably Legend. Probably a legend. Bruiser heel. Let's see. Bruiser heels. They literally are uh, none except for Jerry the King, Lola, and Boss Man. I'd rather turn fucking Warrior heel. Or turn Drew Face. Actually, yeah, turn Drew Face. No, turn Drew heel. Yeah. Dyslexia brain. So yeah, I could get five weeks, five weeks. We'll see who's available next week. No, Hogan's there. Yeah, we'll see who's available next week and what's what. Because they change. They'll change from five weeks to ten weeks. Alright, so this is our show. Before the PLE. In which we have to replace Roman. Steals him off me for a PLE. Oh, I'm a bit dirty about that, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we're going to save as much money as we can this week because we got that submission match. So let's lock it in, Eddie. We're going to have to pay some months next week. Whew. Nasty. Oh, that's going to hurt. I was like, it is what it is, chat. <laughs> Alright, this we have to assimilate. Hopefully, it should go to shots again. JC Jane. No, oh my god, even with my interference. You girls suck. <laughs> I tried to help you. Oh well. Three and a half stars in the rivalry grows. 
Good promo, no rivalry grows. Okay, I don't know why. Sus, 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 simulate. Disappointing, but we got a rivalry out of it. Thank freak. Oh. 12k, okay, okay. Don't like the loss of 8 pop, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, Liv's gonna ask me for a win soon, I can feel it. Weak promo, but it goes up. See, don't know how that works sometimes, but it, it just happens. We're going to film him from the back so we don't have to do lip animations and get him in sync to the audio. Come on, 2K. That's pretty piss weak. Credit for this song in the background goes out to Dragon and for Body Jar for covering it. <laughs> Goodbye, Roman. It was good having you. Got my show off to a good start. Jeez, considering they've done that to me, I might have to play that plus five card um, to extend the Legends contracts. Next season might be the one where I hold off. We'll see about that. So, who have I got? I've got Eve Torres, Beth Phoenix, Kane, and one to come. Yeah. That's going to be interesting. The Scottish warrior is ready for battle. See, I don't usually buy this many legends to start with. But I felt like I had to, and now I'm kind of glad I did. Still don't have pyros yet. Introducing the challenger from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns! And his opponent from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, he is the WCW Heavyweight Champion, the Right now, we kind of hope that Drew retains because we'd hate for the champ to be walking out the door. I mean, we just put the belt back up, but he'll have more popularity if he wins, so sorry about that chat. Just bumped you to Mick. Setting up neck breaker position. 
Drew's been getting beat up so far, so we ain't looking good. Come on, Drew. You're getting speed up, brother. Now he's got it. He's not letting go of that opportunity before he walks out the door to go to NXT. Freaking weeks. Hope he gets beat on. Come on. This, this battering, I think Drew will turn here. He's not going to be happy about Roman leaving after winning. If he wins, that is. But. He's not out of it. But Roman is... Locking it in. Here it comes. Bang. Help him, chat. Help him. Out the door. 
Well, we'll get more fans because of the rivalry, and we completed it. At least we completed that rivalry. Jeepers. The NXT stepped up this week. Ooh, SmackDown did with their main event as well. What was their main event? A triple threat? 80, 66, 72? Yeah, alright. I mean, we did alright. No injuries, that's good. It's very good. 56 and 81. 53 and 56. So 56 and 81 was the best. I'm not that far behind. Yeah, 52, 64. We're going to need that. <sighs> Alright, well. We're at SummerSlam. Contract is up. How much does she want? 69k. Now what I could do, what's... She's satisfied, yeah. So what I could do is I could give her that 69k. Although, that 69k would be used towards that other legend. I might just slap the five weeks on her, um, on them all. So she's still, this is her last week, so she's still got this week. Yeah, you know what? I think that's going to be the best bet. Tell her I won't renew the contract, but I really am. <laughs> yeah, I'm dirty, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to help him get a win. You're not that upset about it. You better not. Small increase. Alright, cool. At least something came out of it. <sighs> Alright, so we've just spent that money, but unlock them. So we've got the nice big arena, of which we will... I think we're going to have to get it free. Yeah, look, let's... It's 35,000. That's huge. At the moment. And we'll play that special promotion card. <laughs> Not playing that yet. Because we got to go shopping. We're looking for a bruiser heel. Of which there are really none. Oh, boogie. Oh, you got good stab. But so does Bruno for 121. Yeah, you know what? I don't get them for free, though. Remember that? Half you spending money here. God, this is such a hard decision right here. Oh, I'll get Bruno and Harley. Bruises for five weeks. I could get Farouk. You know what, I think that's what I'm going to do. 
We'll get Farouk and we'll get Harley. Should we get Bruno and Harley? It's 178,000. That'll leave me 300 left on my budget. We're getting Boogie and Harley. My first specialist. Now we're playing that power card, classically trained. Okay. Boost them up by a bit. Jeebus. So what's that going to be? A triple threat? Drew really needs a week off. Far out. The most popular fighter is Drew. We've got you two ladies. And an Iron Man, I suppose. Beth in a normal, not with even Beth in a normal. <sighs> Tag team versus where's the Shantae? Yep. Lock them in. Tag team. You and you. Sorry, JC. And who we got left? God, someone wanted a tag team, didn't they? Yeah, you and Eve. Okay, we'll do that next week. Drew wants to make an appearance. We got Eve for her rematch. So Drew will make an appearance on advertising or in a promo. I suppose it's got to be Kombucha and Kane. And then we got... Uh, look, we'll throw Boogie in there. No, we'll throw Harley in there. For a triple threat. Self promo call out on Boogie. All right, that's how we're going to run it, chat. Howdy. Jeez, I didn't even see you coming. Sorry, I was really freaking focused there. Um, we just had Roman Reigns stole office. <laughs> so, um, I had to figure out who I was replacing him with. And finances and all that. I wound up picking up Boogeyman. Because Drew and Roman Reigns had a level 3 rivalry going on. So, I ended that on the last show. With the submission match before Roman left. And now we've got, we've got Boogeyman, and we also picked up Harley Race, a specialist, so um, we've thrown him in, in a triple threat here with Kombucha and Kane for the wrong, thank you, hardcore title, because these boys are going to be going for the heavyweight title. Whew, that was close. Thanks, chat. You just fucking saved my ass there. <laughs> so, yeah. We got a level 2 there. We got a level 1 here. They got good pop. And that's an Iron Man match. So, that should do well. Normal tag. Normal triple threat. 
normal tag because she's got bug rule stam left and they're pretty low on stam too now i'm getting both optional bonuses so we're sweet there they're not unlocked yet so yeah we're pretty much set up we've played a few power cards we got the free arena we extended the legends contracts which we have five of so that's helped us greatly for this um, opening season. And that special promotion is always good on your big shows. Where I uh, show five of 25. So that's good. Do have some money to play with, but we want to keep that in the bank. It's a relatively cheap show for a pay-per-view, but it should pop. There's, yeah, a level three there, a level two there. They've got decent popularity. They've all got average popularity. Kombucha's low as hell because he was a 20 when I got him. <laughs> so hopefully this match will do him some good. We might actually make that a tables just for shits and giggles. And break up the normals. Because he can afford a gimmick match. They can't. They could, but I'm saving their stamina. We're going to need them next week. All right. Don't book your most popular fighter for a health spa. That was Drew. And I don't think there's any way I can... I mean, I could leave the spot bare, but I really wanted that promo to kick off. Because I'm pretty sure we've used all our superstars in this pay-per-view. Or PLE. Whichever you want to call it. Now, Superstar Training, that's pretty good. Do I want to spend a little money here? 30k. That could make Kombucha a permanent roster member. And save me some money down the line. I don't know. What do you reckon, chat? Um... Well, hey, what I'm going to do, because this has been going for two and a half hours, I'm going to wrap this one up here, and we'll pick it back up for this, um, the start of the matches for this premium live event. So, chat, thank you very much for tuning into the stream. This has been your boy, Happy Bandit, for Happy Bandit Gaming doing some my gym mode on wwe 2k23 i hope you've enjoyed it had some tunes cranking in the background for the twitch so yeah um i might kick that live stream off straight away so yeah look for it stick around all right happy bandit over and out